Hello, groovers and shakers. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the brand new recording studio and the t- it was a TV studio mostly, but also recording. The mics are all set up. The mirrors are all set up for the burlesque class, which I'm starting tomorrow. It's not strictly burlesque, but it's fusion, fusion fitness. And we use a lot of burlesque styling. And I've just um, done a load of flyers and just about to pop those up. It's really exciting, actually. Really bloody exciting. Um, the Tomorrow's class is going to be really gentle. And remember that, you know, the whole the whole purpose of my classes are for older people or people who aren't very fit, who want to do something really enjoyable and look beautiful doing it. Hence, I've incorporated lots of burlesque styling and I'm using fans and things. And it's really all about feeling gorgeous, looking gorgeous, whatever age you are. The wonderful thing about something like burlesque um, and a couple of the other dance genres that I'm incorporating into the fitness class is that they are particularly good for people with arthritic conditions and those those of us who perhaps haven't been quite as jaunty, jaunty, jaunting around (laughs) as much as they used to. So even if you're 20 but you're, you're a slob, you can come to my classes and you won't be completely and utterly, you know, worn out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a modular system so there will be moves and and I'll name the moves and we can use these moves to do our own bespoke workouts whenever we like do you see what I mean um so it's going to be really good fun really simple we're going to use a chair or a ballet bar one or the other so you'd probably be wise to get just a small chair with a back um anything you can get really but a light chair sort of kitchen chair type thing works really really well I've got an old wooden one which I'll use and we'll be incorporating that into all of our classes um that are going to be very very short classes I'm not interested in you know making you work really hard but the idea would be that you'd put a string of the classes together and you know you'd put them on a loop And then, because you'll be subscribing, you should be able to do that. And then you'll be able to just follow me for each individual um, class. But it's your class, it's bespoke. And if if there are exercises you don't like, you don't have to do them, guys, do you? If you can't touch your toes in high heels, you don't have to do that. But I will be. Um, So I thought I'd do a, a high heel class tomorrow just to work our calves a bit. Now, I I no longer leave the building in high heels, but I tell you what, I can still dance in them, but I I can no longer cycle in them. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And I always cycle. And also, I don't really frequent the sort of places where heels, where, I, you know, I'm, I'm always doing a lot of walking around now. Even if I take the car, you know, I, I'm walking from the car to the the venue or you know there's always this kind of thing and I'm just I, I just go for comfort now when I'm out but I still wear them for seductive purposes and dancing should they be required so tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of um high heel dancing uh burlesque style in my Vivian Westwoods okay and the thing with my Vivian Westwoods is they're rubber and they they dance very well. They don't make too much noise on the floor. I've got a concrete floor. They don't shock my ankles. They're quite gentle, and they are my favourite. If I do, if I am pressed to wear high heels, they're they're my favourite pair. So very very nice. They're also nude colour, um, with a with a big heart on the front. You'll see tomorrow, won't you? Um, now the other thing is the cooking. Um, I'm still waiting for props, but I I think perhaps tomorrow I'll just start. I just I may as well I'll have all the cameras out so I may as well just go for it tomorrow and you know I can cook my yogurt in my keep fit gear because the the kitchen and the TV studio are all part of the same um room you know this they're enclosed but I'll, I'll probably pop up my my new Japanese screen now with regards to the um audio on the cooking shows I think they'll be quite good on this podcast. So because I'll be explaining things, I'll explain things very well. 
and you won't necessarily have to see. Do you see what I mean? I mean, it wouldn't work for the dance thing because I'd be saying, and now we're going to point our toe and we're going to hunch in or do a shimmy or, you know, whatever else it is. You would, you'd need to see what a shimmy was. I couldn't explain it to you. So that's not going to work. But I figured, well, no, do you know what? Cooking, that's going to work, isn't it? Cooking's going to be per- absolutely perfect for that. So cooking is what we will do. Um, We will have a cooking, now a podcast station. Um, Well, it'll be on here. I'll put the the audios on here, on this channel and on my other channel. And there'll be the audios to the actual cooking classes. Now, my cooking classes, guys, if you don't know, they're completely and utterly related to the fitness. It all... Blends in seamlessly, you see. This is my new branding, um, uh, the architecture of branding. Um, Basically, as part of my sort of 10-year plan, I will be launching, you know, the Telltale Club Academy as a a long-live fitness studio. And it will include... I mean, this is long-term. At the moment, we've sort of got separate things. You know, they're not all one but there will be a live longer section um i don't know what i'll call it but nearer the time when i'm um, approaching 70 i will understand it a bit more and then it'll be a franchise franchise and then etc cetera, etc cetera. you know that's that's the, the the long-term plan but for the moment it's cooking i haven't released the vitamin range yet i haven't um released my food supplements my my food um i was going to say food accessories and i i, I do kind of mean that uh, there'll be you know condiments sauces stuff like that that that's in my plan for later on um all part of this live longer um ideology that is really really you know it's going to be massive absolutely massive and more and more people are going to understand that the sooner they give up the sugar the sooner they stop the the, the bad fats um, and the sooner they get off their bums and move around, the, the better their lives are going to be, the more enjoyable their lives are going to be, the safer they're going to be, the less falls they're going to have, you know, the less arthritis they're going to have, all of these things, okay? And this is all going towards that. But for the moment, it's just a little burlesque uh, fusion fitness class and a little... Um, cookery show okay but you know I'm a businesswoman I'm a you know I've got my eye on the prize and the prize is of course the the beautiful 10 bedroomed house in Dubai you know um with my yacht I mean that's the long game of course it's long game um but the sooner the better frankly because you know I mean I'd, I'd like to retire by the time I'm 80 um, I think that's a reasonable retirement age, um, especially if I'm in, involved in sort of dance and fitness. I may not, you know, I may may well be still very, very fit, but I may not be wanting anymore to do a sort of nine to five fitness school. Do you know what I mean? There, there comes a time, I think, when you say to yourself, right, well, you know, I've got this massive company. Um, I I make food substitutes for health and you know the wealth of of contentment and mental health um equilibrium and i'm you know i franchise this amazing dance blah 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 but now surely it's time to put my feet up now i did think at one point that my time would be 70 but now i realize that 70 is not very old at all because i'm so fit and i've lost about three stone anyway um because of all of that I just think, no, I, I'm I'm going to be working till I'm 80, I can tell. I can actually tell. Um, so we just have to find something that gets rid of liver spots, I think. My mum was saying, I, I mean, look, I, I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with liver spots, but I don't want to have loads of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I've started to worry about them now because my mum has one on her face and she hates it, absolutely hates it. Um, but she does. She hasn't tried to get it, rid of it or anything. But I, I and she was telling me about Joan Collins actually on a, an award ceremony the other day, and how she had a, a gown on that came up to her neck, up to her chin rather, 
And she also had long opera gloves on. And I said to my mum, that's probably to cover up a multitude of liver, liver spots, you know, because she's nearly 90. And, and we get them. That's what happens. Now, I must, obviously, I've come from a background of removals, patches of, um, you know, hyper pigmentation, which I tried on myself and it didn't work. It made it worse. So <laughs> I did it once and I'm never doing it again. Um, so, and I also tried some around my, the corner of my eyes and that's marked quite badly and now I have to cover it up. Um, I don't know if it'll ever go away. It probably will in a couple of years, but you know, these things can take years, absolutely years to get rid of. So I'm quite a blotchy face already. I don't want to be any more. I haven't got a complex about it at all. I mean, it just looks like kind of wild freckles, you know, um, large wild freckles. I, and I quite like that look and it is you know, the, a, a sort of a little mask, almost like a butterfly mask when you're pregnant. It's all your hormones, isn't it? But I don't, I'm not looking forward to being sort of 80 and 90 and covered in them. Um, I think it's about 90. And as you get into your 90s, they, they really appear all over. Um, I mean, I don't know, maybe if I never go out in the sun again, <laughs> I need my vit vitamin D. Um so my diet is, is um, changing a bit because I'm cooking now um, or, or rather instructing people how to, you know, adopt this really healthy, healthy, no sugar lifestyle. I've just eaten a couple of dates because I was feeling a bit peckish and I, I know that they, you know, they keep one regular. They keep you regular, darlings, keep you regular. Very important. Now, I, yesterday I had chia seeds and I had them for breakfast and I, I, my body knew that it had, had something. <laughs> my body was being noisy. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Um, so I thought, oh, I better not have any tonight then in my, in my food. So just a word of warning: if you're if you're going down the chia seed road, um, don't go too mad. Break yourself in gently. And I'm trying to teach my stomach to be more sturdy and have more roughage, and a, a wider variation in in meals. You know. A, a, a bigger turnover I mean I eat the same meal all week and that that's really bad for you you need your body actually needs to have lots and lots of different things all the time because that's really good for your stomach your stomach actually needs all of these micro organisms and things to to learn how to be a good stomach it needs lots of variety. And then all the minerals and things as well. You know, we don't get them from one single food. We need to have lots and lots of different foodstuffs. So really important. But I will be talking about that in my cookery shows. And hence, I will be talking about it here on my podcast. Um, so that's cool, isn't it? So um, launching tomorrow. Looking forward to that. I'm doing some other stuff tomorrow as well. I've got to do some running around. So I'm going to get up nice and early. And get filming first thing. Um, I may not put the videos up until a bit later in the day, but we'll see. And you guys don't mind because you're mostly in America, aren't you? And you're five hours behind me, or is it ahead? Five? No, I'm. Yeah, f you don't get up till three in the afternoon or something. Um, so you're all right. That's why I don't mind doing these late broadcasts actually, because I know you're probably listening. Um, so you'll be able to go over to my Vimeo. But look, I'm going to it's on my um, Twitter, I think. But I'll, I'll sort all that out in a minute. I'll go and put all the relevant um, academies and links up in a minute. I'm going to do a bit of a big Twitter um, thing now, actually. So you'll be able to go onto their tail telecrap and you'll be able to find me or the Marchioness of Dorchester, who is a poet. Of course, she does all the poetry. I did do a poem earlier, but it wasn't for her. It was for the for a different, a, a different um, a channeling of a Shakespearean character that I do. Um, anyway, I won't bore you with that. www dot of course iserveland dot com or tailteleclub dot com, um, and over on Vimeo also actually at iserveland, and you'll find my profile. And down the side, you've got all my channels, so that's quite cool as well. My on demand channels. Um, OK, guys, I'll be back in the morning. How exciting. I'm really thrilled and I'm thrilled to have you with me on this wonderful journey. <laughs>